Cool. Hey, I'm Sugar T. Williams, and I am the author of A Woman's Work, and hopefully you guys read it. Right. When's it coming out? It'll be out May 25th officially, but I have it for pre-order at Black and Nobel. <laughs> you know what it is, a woman's work. That's so right. I'm going to start it off with um, a brief synopsis. What is a woman's work? It is cooking, cleaning, and taking care of the kids, or maybe running the office Monday through Friday at your 9 to 5. On the other hand, it is simply providing for herself and her family by any means necessary. I was writing since I was 25 and I'm 34 now. And I actually just used to keep a journal mm -hmm. of my life. And my cousin, she has book published. And I was just telling her that, yeah, cause I've been writing and, but this is what I do for a living. And I kind of got more in depth with what my life was about because we was catching up after years and years cause she's a long lost cousin from my dad's side. Mm -hmm. And once I explained to her about my life and everything, she said, you know what, I'm going to introduce you to my publisher because I feel like your story is really strong and I think people might want to hear it. Mm -hmm. So that's when I spoke with her publisher and the next day he's like, you know, Tanisha, I really feel like your message needs to get out to a lot of people because once I explained to him, look, this is not just what I do. I'm also a student. I'm also a mother. I'm also a daughter, you know, and I think I'm pretty smart, you know, mm -hmm. so that's what really inspired me. But it, it just kind of came out of the blue. Like I never thought that I would have been writing a book, mm -hmm. you know, it was just an opportunity that came my way, but it just made sense. And I feel like, you know what, it's my time to get my voice out there because for all these questions that these customers come in my job asking me, and not even just the men, the women too, I say, you know what, maybe this is needed. This is my voice that I'm about to be for all my fellow workers and just to pretty much give some clarification to all the people out there that don't come into these clubs or people that do come into these clubs but still <clears throat> have questions. Right. I noticed in the last 10 years or so, a lot of um, young ladies have uh, supported themselves through school from mm -hmm. um, the entertainment industry. I think because times is getting harder. Yes, yes, you know? yes. And more of the younger generation is getting into this. When I say younger, like, because I am still in the business mm -hmm. currently, and a lot of the girls that come in now is 19, mm -hmm. 20. You know, it's not the older girls coming. I'm from the old school, you know, but it's a big difference because a lot of these, it's different motives now. A lot of these girls come in now for the drugs. They come mm. in now just to go buy those pocketbooks, to go get the Louis. Like, they're not thinking long term, mm -hmm. you know. But in this business, you can definitely accumulate a lot of money. It is, it's a gateway to a better future. Mm. But a lot of people don't think that way. You know, they don't think that, you know, damn, I'm making all this money, but it don't last forever. And not just that, I get tired of it. Who wants to shake their ass forever? Who wants to be on the stage and entertain these men forever, too? Can you cook and clean? I can do all that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, really, I mean, I'm a mother, you know, like I really can cook and clean. I go to the market. I have a washing dryer. I maintain a whole house, Who you know, like I... Yeah, I keep. I have my own place. I pay my own bills. You know, I, I pretty much. Yeah, I'm a woman. That's why I call it a woman's work because it don't make me no less of a woman. And it's still work at home. It's still work at at my job. Like my work is never done, and it don't make me no less of a woman because I take my clothes off to make money. You know, but I still do everything a woman's supposed to do. Plan to get married one day? Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> Why you say really? Like, is, uh, well, is it, mean, it can't happen? No, I'm asking a question, <laughs> and I'm just responding with really. You know, get it. You know, yeah, let but us you know. know what? If like, if I were to ever get married, first off, I need a understanding guy, which I do have a friend, and like. He's really understand. Like I do what I want. Like, and I do work from here to New York, and I get in later when I come from New York. So, but it's never been a problem. Like we give each other space. He knew what I did when we got together. You know, like I said, my bills is paid. Like you getting your done. You getting what you supposed to get over. So there's no reason for you to be all up on my back. Right. You know, especially if you know I'm coming home, and as I got a bag, a big bag of money, why do it matter? Like obviously I was out there working. A woman's work. Sugar T. Williams. 
Is this no, a silent I'm, standalone I'm gonna, novel? I'm going to do more because I still have more to talk about. And I mean, I'm still doing it. Like I do plan on doing other things. So I may see trying to start a brand and, and get out of the club. Even if I don't, if this don't work, like I'm working on my bachelor's in psychology, like something, you know, I'm, I'm keeping myself productive. But um, I definitely want to do more. I, I want to see where it takes me. But my overall like goal is I want to turn it into a movie. Mm. I want to turn my story into a movie. Wow. Is this no, a silent I'm, standalone I wanna, novel? I'm going to do more because I still have more to talk about. And I mean, I'm still doing it. Like I do plan on doing other things. So I'm basically trying to start a brand and, and get out of the club even if I don't if this don't work like I'm working on my bachelor's in psychology like something you know I'm, I'm keeping myself productive but um I definitely want to do more I, I want to see where it takes me but my overall like goal is I want to turn it into a movie mm. I want to turn my story into a movie wow. my shit is real though that's the difference like I, I get these clients on a day-to-day -day basis and I am somewhat of their psychologist. Like I get all different men that come in with fetishes from wanting to be whole, from wanting to be whipped, from wanting to be slapped, from wanting to be spit on, you know? This like is you this is right this here. is what I get, you know. So I mean this is <laughs> it's deeper, it's definitely it goes a long way and I I put a lot of that in my book. I felt like um I needed to let people know. Like people come in there, they pay hundreds of dollars. They don't have to come in these places. They don't have to give me their credit cards. It's a two-way street. Like a lot of the women catch a lot of flack, but how would they have jobs if it if wasn't the for the men who wasn't going? In. So I do understand where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. For all the people exactly. that are going to be judgmental of this line of work that she's putting out with. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you don't get one without the other. Mm -hmm. You know? And some men prefer to come and spend their money in these entertainment places than going to the bars or going and wasting it on. I guess they like I might as well just go fill up on a woman that I actually like. Makes sense to me. Come on out and check her out here on blackandnobel.com or come on over to Airy Avenue where we'll be carrying the book after May 25th. Yeah. Um, I guess that's around... Mother's Day. Some before that, though, okay. Still, we it out before yeah, so we'll be carrying it and we'll be promoting it. So everybody that's uh, interested in it, please log on at blackandnobel.com. We ship the prisons. Peace. Thank you. Okay, can I get my picture? Oh, yeah. <laughs>